in this video, I'm going to share with you some shirts you can try in Hanoi, Vietnam that are all really highly rated on Google and I always trust Google for reviews, I don't know why, but I do. Uh, so we're going to start today with a ice cream place which is called Trans Tien ice cream. It is the best ice cream in Hanoi, Vietnam. Um, so this is it. So it's called Kem Trang Tien and you can actually go inside over there where the security guy is there and you can it's like a really big place with loads of uh, stations that sell the ice cream so you can have a scoop of ice cream in a cone or you can have like a popsicle ice cream so here's the video of me trying my first ice cream in Hanoi Vietnam you have to go inside for the cone ice cream look at that Oh my god, look at this key, this is insane. This place is crazy, there's kids running around everywhere. Kids dropping their ice creams everywhere. We've been queuing for 10 minutes. And the only flavor they sell at this, at this side is vanilla ice cream. So I guess we're both having a vanilla ice cream cone. Which I'm really excited for because these kids go crazy for it. Thank you. Ice cream made of coconut milk. Ooh, it's really good. Oh, delicious. delicious. Definitely worth queuing for for ten minutes in a hellhole with screaming children everywhere. I love children, so it's a lot. Best ice cream in Hanoi, apparently, if you judge it on the busyness. Kem Trang Chien ice cream. So one ice cream cone at this shop with one scoop of ice cream is only 15,000 degrees down, which is like 46 pence. 46 pennies in pounds and in euros it would be like 60 euro cents which is insanely cheap and the popsicles are even cheaper they are 12,000 Vietnamese dong for a popsicle so they're the best in Hanoi definitely they are really highly rated but the prices are still really really good it's so cheap and it's so delicious really one of the best ice creams I've ever had Hello, today I'm going to try a dessert from a dessert place that is called Little Bowl. They serve like kind of soup desserts, well that's what it looks like, but I don't know, I haven't tried them yet ever. So it's called Little Bowl, it has really good reviews on Google and it looks like a sweet coconut milk dessert with flan in it and like all kinds of jelly beans and stuff. So I'm really excited to try it. Uh, it's really popular here, so... So this is it, 
the restaurant, it's called Little Bowl, and the dessert names that I was talking about are Che Thai, Che Thai, Che, or is the name of the dessert? Um, so I'm just gonna sit here outside. They have little seats here, and this is the menu. So I'm just gonna get this one caramel mix bowl with ice cream on this cold day because it's the best seller. So I definitely want to try the best seller. So I'm gonna go inside and order some caramel mix bowl with ice cream. Tiom Che. So I just ordered the caramel bowl and the dessert name is pronounced Che. So, che. I thought che because it's C H E, but they say che. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, so, I'm just gonna wait here outside next to the restaurant. They have cute little green chairs um, until I'm getting my che. So, here it is. I got my che. Uh, the lady just said if it's too sweet, I can just add. Some ice, which I got next to it. Let's have a look. So that does look very delicious, I think. Mm. I hope that white stuff is like a coconut, sweet, milky uh, flavor, but let's see. I have no idea what to expect. I've never had this before. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, this is so good. So this is just the soup that I'm trying now. And the soup is sweet and coconutty. So it's exactly what I expected. And I have like little jelly beans in there like all those beans you can see and now I'm just gonna try the flan which is in there mm. Mm. that's so good delicious I really like this dessert I thought I was gonna like it when I saw it online and it's exactly what I expected it to be like a really nice sweet soup with loads of jelly beans in it and flan who doesn't love flan mm. really 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 good really recommend this place. You should definitely try some Che um, if you're in Hanoi, Vietnam. Uh, there's a lot of women selling it on the streets too. I just went to this place because it was like the highest recommended on Google and I thought why not let's give it a try and I could just walk to it instead of walking on the street searching for a lady that sells them. Um, but yeah, it's delicious. Little boy, little ball in Hanoi, Vietnam. Definitely try it. That was delicious. It was sweet, but not too sweet. And really fun to eat because there's loads of jelly beans in there and ice cream and flan. So it's like a perfect combination of everything and not too sweet. It's very nice and it was only 35,000 Vietnamese dong, which is really cheap. That's like 115 pounds, so like 130 euros, which is so cheap for such a big, nice dessert. So the next place we're gonna go to is called King Roti. They have these really big, fluffy, 
uh, bread slash cake slash just a fluffy big bowl um, and on the inside there's like gooey nice flavor stuff so they have different flavors they have matcha, chocolate, coffee, milk, vanilla, egg flavor. Um, so yeah, we're heading there right now. King Roti. King Roti. They have coffee chocolate. Chocolate, coffee butter roti, vanilla milky roti. Vanilla milky roti sounds really good to me, so I'm gonna have that one. I thought it was gonna be cold today. I was wearing this jacket and I was eating my buncha and I was just sweating like crazy. So I took it off and now it's really hot. Vanilla milky roti. They look so fluffy. Like they must feel like a cloud in your mouth. Like, well, at least I hope so. Hello. Can I have one vanilla milky butter, please? What? Yes. Twenty. Uh, Twenty. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. it looks delicious. And with, and with the bread? This looks so delicious. Okay, I'll show you. So... This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It looks really fluffy. I got the milky, creamy milky flavor or something from King Roxy. Let's try. Dropping up the Really sweet bread. Are kind of a half cake, half bread. Really sweet, really milky. Delicious. I kind of want to see the inside, but it's hard to show you while I'm holding my camera. Mm. Mm, look at that. The inside is like all. I think I just spit on the camera. The inside is all like buttery and, and gooey. Let's try that. Mm. That's so delicious. That's so good. Perfect dessert for the end of my night. next place I'm gonna go to is called S Patisserie or S Patisserie. Um, it is a patisserie bakery um, just next to the main lake here in Hanoi and it looks so good and there's always people inside and I know it's not like a traditional Vietnamese dessert place because it's like cakes and, and, uh, and stuff but uh, it looks really, really good and the reviews on Google are really, really good too. So I'm excited to go in and finally get one of those delicious cake. I've been walking past for like 20 times already, but never got one. So let's go get some cake.
so this is it as patisserie or saint patisserie or patisserie or I don't know how to pronounce it but they always have a display like how do you say that displayed and it always looks really good so I'm finally gonna go in and get me some of that delicious cake that looks amazing uh, and I'm gonna take it home because I want to share it chocolate cake and the New York cheesecake and I'm just gonna bring them back home and try them because I want to share them um, I'm really excited I'm, I hope they look as good as I hope they taste as good as what they look like and yeah 175,000 Vietnamese dong 5 pounds 65 not bad at all I think for such a luxurious place as Sepatisserie, Saint Patisserie or S Patisserie. So I'm back at the apartment and I'm gonna try these beautiful cakes from Sepatisserie, S Patisserie. And first I'm gonna show you how I got I got three cakes. New York cheesecake, the tiramisu, and the chocolate cake. And I think they all look delicious. So first I'm gonna try the chocolate cake because this one looks the best in my opinion. Let's try. Ooh. It's hot. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so oh so the chocolate layer that is on top of that chocolate cake is really hard. It's a really thick layer, which is a good sign. Let's try it. This is so good. This is literally one of the best chocolate cakes I've ever had. That is so delicious. It's so soft and so chocolatey. Mmm. The chocolate cake is really good from S Patisserie. And then the next one is a tiramisu. Let's try it. Ooh, that looks so fluffy. Look at the side of that. So fluffy and delicious. Let's try it. That's really fluffy and really good too. And it's not too sweet at all. It's really good tiramisu. Mmm, it's so fluffy, it's so good. I 
Okay, both of these are really, really good. And then I'm going to try the last one. The New York Cheesecake. This is it. That also looks delicious. That bottom layer, like the cookie layer, looks really crunchy. That's really good too. Mm. This cheesecake is really like the cookie layer, the bottom layer is really nice and crunchy. But like the actually the actual cheese that is on top of it does taste a bit sour, not too sweet. Really nice. That's amazing. And all of these cakes were only £5.65 which is a really good price for such high quality cakes. I really like Saint Patisserie or S Patisserie in Hanoi. Highly recommend it. Oh, that was it for today. Thank you everyone for watching. I had some delicious desserts. I think my favorite one was the Che because it was really special and I just never had anything like it before in my life. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching and if you like this video and want to see more of these kinds of videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much. Bye bye!